everybody, my name is Javier Mendoza. I am a first grade teacher, bilingual, at Don Girard Elementary. Uh, belongs to Alvin Independent School District and I'm teaching math and science. Good morning. Well, today's objective is I will use a number balance to explore and recognize the meaning of the equal sign. With my students, we have been exploring in math about the plus sign, the minus sign, but sometimes we don't talk about the equal sign. And I'm telling them there is a very powerful sign because it's telling us if both parts of the number sentences mean the same, if they are equal or not, if they represent the same amount. So since they know how to add, they know how to subtract, but sometimes they don't know exactly what the equal sign means. So I just brought some number balances and they can play with unifix cubes to make a number sentence. So let's say if they are going to say that 3 plus 5 equals 8, they can put in one part of the, of the balance 3 unifix cubes and then uh, 5 more. And they say, okay, 3 plus 5 is 8, but I'm telling them that they need, to comp they need to prove, they need to double check if the answer is correct by using a, a number balance. If the balance is on level, it means that the, that the equation is correct. The statements are true because they mean the same. So they just will get some unifix cubes. Uh, they say, okay, my answer is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And they will put those unifix cubes in the other side and they will wait a couple seconds and if they see it is balanced it's because their answer is uh, correct. Also since they are bilingual kids I'm trying to help them to improve uh, their language skills so we also have a language objective and it is I will explain to my partner that statements on each side of the equal sign are true. So they will have the time to discuss during the centers if uh, uh, number sentence is equal or not and why. Obviously proving and using uh, the number balance. I'm trying to put that language objective because they are developing uh, communication skills and they, the most of them they speak Spanish but they are trying to, to speak in English using complete sentences and uh, improving not only the, the math knowledge but also uh, the communication uh, skills. Good morning everybody. How are you today? Good. How was your day yesterday? Good. You made your homeworks? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Okay. No? You didn't do all the homework? No? Okay. We will check this. So let's see if you are awake and let's stretch a little bit then go to the right and go to the left. Go up. Go down. And let's see if you are awake. Buenos dias, amiguitos. ¿Cómo está? Haremos lo posible por hacernos más amigos. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, qué bien. Hello, bien. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, bien, bien. Hello, bien. Este es un saludo de amistad. Bien, bien, bien. Haremos lo posible por hacernos más amigos. Buenos días, amiguitos. ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, bien, bien. Hello, bien. Excellent. All right. Let's check our calendar today. And today is a new day in the school. Who can tell me what day is today? Yes, Manuel. Tuesday. Wednesday, are you very sure? Thursday. Oh, Thursday, yes. Today is Thursday. April, April the 10th of 2014. Oh, what is this birthday here? Your mom. My mom. That's the reason I love calendars because if I don't have my calendar all the time with me, I will forget some important <coughs> dates, like my mother's birthday. And tomorrow we will have another birthday. Oh, David, will be his birthday tomorrow. Excellent. What day was yesterday? And tomorrow will be? Tomorrow will be Friday, April the 11th of 2014. Very, very good. So today is a new day in the school. Can we count how many days we have been here? Yes. Okay, you'll help me out. Okay, I will show you the straws that represent some numbers and you will tell me, okay? All right. Wait, 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 wait. We're in 
All right. All right, there are 136 days in the school. Let me write down this number here. 136 days, that's a lot. Yes, David? Okay, we'll see, let me check. Okay, we have our count over there. So what number do I need to write down here? 136. Okay, 136. So we don't forget how many days we have been here in this school. Diego, thank you. Now, can I represent this number in different ways? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so who wants to help me with my place value chart? Okay, go, Elizabeth. Hi. Don't worry, you will have your opportunity. Okay, uh, Lisbeth, can you tell me or write down actually how many groups of hands we have in the number 136? Please write it down. Okay, how many groups? One group of hundreds. All right, how many groups of tens? Three. Three, okay. How many groups, guys? Three. Excellent. And uh, how many ones? Six. Seven. Okay. And you say three. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Are those equations equivalent? Do they mean the same? Yes. Let's see. Four plus five equals? Eight. Eight. Nine. 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 Okay. Nine. Oh, let me do the nine a little bit better. Okay, nine. And six plus three equals? Eight, nine. Okay. It means that four plus five is equal six plus three. I don't need to represent the numbers just using one digit. Sometimes I can use two or three or four. If the amount in the right side of the equal sign is equal to the amount in the left side, it works for me. But let me check on my balance if this is correct. I already have 4 plus 5, right? Yeah. Now I need to put, what two numbers I need to put here? Uh, 6 plus 3. Okay, 6 plus 3, right? Can you count with me, please? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Is it ready? Wait, no, it's not ready? No. Oh, I need, I need 3 more. Okay, can you count with me? 1, 2, 3. Okay, 6 plus 3. Oh, right, yeah. It's balanced. So it means that my number 10 is correct. It's true because both sides are equal. So when you go to the computer center, you can play that one and also you can play this one, okay? In this one, also, we need to complete the number sentences and make them equal. Then choose the correct yes, answer. A set of 10 bees and one more bee is how many bees in all? Very good. Remember, in this game, we have to try to make the sentence equal, okay? The left side of the sentence, the right side of the sentence, they need to be the same, okay? <laughs> Yes, in nueve. Hmm, let's try again. What is this? What is the greater number between three and nine? What is the biggest one between three and nine? Which one is bigger, three or nine? Yes. He thinks it's twelve. Oh, okay. Let's see if it's balanced. balanced. If it's balanced, it's because it's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. You have the, you, can you see your plus sign? You have the two signs, try to keep your signs together. So you can, you can use the minus or the plus sign. Which one do you have to use? Yeah, that one. Because we are adding, right? Yeah. Luis? Luis <coughs> Okay. One plus two equals three. Are you agree with her? Yes. That's correct. Now, can I make a subtraction sentence I have the same answer? Yes. What do you think, Manuel, could be an option? One. Which one? Four minus one. Four minus one. Mm, let's try. So Manuel says four 
minus one. Can you write the number one for me?